All right, we're back here on Sportsline. Happy to have you with us on a Wednesday night in Nashville, Tennessee. Don't forget, Virgil Herring is coming up at 845 uh, to preview the Masters. Steve Lehman is going to join me at the bottom of the hour. We're going to talk a little bit about everything. Get your phone calls in at 737-7767. We should mention uh, about the big wrestling show tomorrow night uh, in Murfreesboro at, uh, at the Murphy Center. Uh, head coach Rick Stockstill of MTSU football will be there in attendance. So he had a chance to say hi to Coach Stock. He's a great guy and uh, he loves Murfreesboro and apparently he loves professional wrestling. So it'll be good to see him out there at the show tomorrow night. So keep, be on the lookout for him. All right, as we stated at the top of the hour, Vanderbilt has a new men's basketball coach. He is former Valparaiso head coach Bryce Drew, the son of Homer Drew, who coached at Valpo for many years. And uh, obviously Bryce Drew comes to Vandy with great credentials, four turn, uh, tournament uh, regular season titles, uh, two NCAA tournament appearances, two NIT uh, tournament appearances. And, uh, and uh, David Williams, the athletic director at Vandy, says he is the right guy for the job because he's got the skills and he wants to be there. Uh, Bryce Drew meeting with the media earlier today. Here's a little bit of what he had to say at his introductory press conference. And I could not be happier than to be introducing right now our new men's basketball head coach, Bryce Drew. Bryce, welcome to Vanderbilt. Thank, thank you all very much. Thank you very much for everyone in the community coming out uh, for this day. It's a very special day uh, for myself and for my family. And uh, I'm thrilled that people were able to make it here to, uh, to be part of this. You know, first I want to thank uh, the Chancellor. Uh, Chancellor uh, Zeppos has been spectacular. From the moment I met him, he made me feel very welcome. Um, I can see why he's so successful, by Vanderbilt so successful. Um, he's just welcomed me from the very first instant I shook his hand. Vice Chancellor Williams has been phenomenal um, through the whole process. Uh, great mentor, has so much wisdom that he's passed on along the way. I uh, really enjoyed uh, meeting John Ingram, had a great time talking to him, um, talking on the phone. And then Candace, you know, we're never going to play one-on-one, -on -one, Candace, but um, but obviously really enjoyed uh, getting to know you through this whole process. It, it, it's been an extremely um, exciting time uh, these last few weeks. And to cap it off, to be here today in front of you is, is pretty much the icing on the cake. There's been a lot of different opportunities in the past that I've looked at to be the head basketball coach, but none of them brought the full package that Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt brings. I'm very interested in, in developing young men. Um, obviously, we want to be out on this court. We want to win a lot of games. We want to win championships. But I'm also very interested in, in our young men becoming men when they leave here and not only winning a lot of games and having options for pro careers, but also having degrees and, and learning how to be great husbands and great fathers and great people in the community that, that will go on and make a positive uh, effect in the future. And so. What drew me to Vanderbilt and why I've always admired and, 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 and liked this job and this university is the full package you get here. You, you get to compete at the highest level athletically, but yet you get to learn at the highest level academically. And, and just from being here a couple hours, I can feel the energy. You can feel how this is a special place. And again, we're extremely excited to be here. When I first thought of Vanderbilt basketball, you know, years ago, uh, my dad, who's a legendary coach, uh, we, we saw Vanderbilt play. They had a player by the name of Barry Goheen. I don't know if any, we got any, some people out here that remember Barry. And so he used to make, I think, all these last second shots or crazy shots and, and, and different things. But that was kind of my first introduction to, uh, to Vanderbilt. Then, obviously, with uh, Coach Eddie Fogler, um, who was um, a great, uh, gave me great wisdom through this whole process. Uh, the years that he had here with, with Billy McCaffrey, Chris Lawson, um, that group went in the SEC, you know, the ph phenomenal things there. And I think as we go through the coaches at Vanderbilt and the great history of the basketball program, you know, going to Coach Stallings, you know, what he's done here for 17 years, I think every coach that comes, you want the program to leave at a better place than what you left it. And I think the coaches, you know, you've had here have each taken it a step further than where it was 
was before. You know, as I look at the, the team and, and the young men that we just visited with, you know, obviously our, our goals go beyond just winning games. You know, here at Vanderbilt, we want to win games nationally. Um, no Vanderbilt team has, has ever made it to the Final Four, and we would like to be that first Vanderbilt team to get to the Final Four. As I met with these young men, uh, you know, this was another one of the big draws of Vanderbilt is the student athlete that I'd get to be around on a daily basis. Um, very focused, very mature, express themselves very well. Um, the type of players that you want representing your school out on the court on national TV um, in front of the media. So um, had a great time with you guys. Hopefully uh, we're all going to be back next year and, uh, and be coaching and entertaining everybody. Let's get a hand of everybody back here next year. All right, that is new Vanderbilt men's basketball coach Bryce Drew getting introduced to the media earlier this afternoon over on West End. Your thoughts, Vanderbilt fans, 737-7767. What do you think of Bryce Drew, 41 years old? He's obviously got coaching in his blood. His brother Scott is the head coach at Baylor. And, uh, oh, by the way, Vandy plays Baylor next year, so that should be fun. So we'll have a nice little brother versus brother situation going on there. Uh, you know, on paper, looks like a great hire. He's got the youth. He's got the, the, the energy. And in listening to David Williams this afternoon at the press conference, he really made it clear you, you have to want to be there at Vanderbilt. And uh, that was the biggest thing. And we had heard once his name became uh, surfaced as a candidate at Vanderbilt that Bryce Drew wanted this job. He wanted to be the head coach. He's had a lot of offers over the last couple of years, as, as you may have heard him say, uh, as he addressed the media just a couple of minutes ago. He had a lot of offers to go to different schools. And, but Vanderbilt was the school he wanted to go to. And he, that was the program he wanted to take over. So, um, you know, it's not easy with the academic standards and recruiting and competing in the SEC against the likes of Kentucky. And, you know, you're looking at the SEC. Are they on par with the ACC and some of the other power conferences? Not quite, but uh, their teams are getting better. You know, you got Bruce Pearl down at Auburn. You've got um, uh, new coaches all over the league. You've got uh, a lot of good recruits, guys like Ben Simmons, even though he's going to be a one and done, you know, coming to the SEC. Uh, Avery Johnson coaching at Alabama. So, um, you know, Calipari's not going anywhere at, at Kentucky. So the SEC is going to get more competitive. And I, he, Bryce Drew saying this earlier that he feels like a lot of more SEC teams will make it to the NCAA tournament next year. Only three this year. Could be a lot more next year in Vanderbilt. He hopes to be one of those teams. So if you have a thought on Bryce Drew becoming the new head coach at Vanderbilt for men's basketball, we'd love to hear from you, 737-7767. Again, don't forget, Steve Lehman, bottom of the hour. We're going to talk about Bryce Drew, and we're going to talk about uh, a lot of other stuff, national championship game, uh, Titans draft, whatever we can get to the Predators uh, as they uh, get set for the playoffs. And, of course, 845 Virgil Herring, PGA teaching professional. Uh, you've seen him on Golf Channel. You've seen him on. Uh, you've heard him on the radio locally. Uh, we're going to talk golf. We're going to talk about the Masters, who he thinks is going to win, and uh, maybe some of the weather factors heading into this weekend at Augusta. But back to the Predators. They pick up a win last night. They snap their four-game winless streak. Uh, just a couple of games left before they start their playoff run. And the team is pretty confident, especially after snapping that streak and getting a win last night. Here's head coach Peter Laviolette after today's practice. Now that the team does uh, try trick shots like Philip during games. <laughs> no, uh, we're pretty straightforward, north and south team. But um, it was a beautiful goal. I mean, there was only one way to get it in the net from the angle that it came at and the position he was in, and um, he's got the skill level to do it. It was a beautiful goal. Did you realize it on the replay, or did you see we're able to see? No, it? I, I didn't sketch it the first time. It happened so quick; it's down far away from me. But you saw it as soon as it hit the replay, and you're like, that was that was pretty special. Uh, tomorrow night, how important is it to finish the regular season at home, not only with a win, but but a good performance? I mean. It, there's always a, you know, when you don't play well and you lose hockey games, there's a bad feeling that goes with it. So you want to win games, you want to play well, you want to, um, you know, take that confidence and move it into the next game in Dallas and then go from there. But, um, you know, we got to get through it. We want to play well, and that's the objective. What's the most tangible impact that you feel that Ryan Johansson has had on James Neal since they did one? He's a... Uh, Ryan's a really talented player. I mean, he's got an exceptional skill level. He sees the ice really well. He's big enough and strong enough to 
hang on to pucks uh, into tight areas and make plays to people, and uh, they've been a really good fit. They're, the line's been uh, good defensively. It's been real strong offensively. I think Cali does a good job on that line, you know, providing stability. Um, we've always talked about Cali as a smart two-way player, but uh, still has the skill where he can complement those guys. Uh, you know, they're a real dangerous line for us. Was there something in Colin Wilson's game last night that you saw that's maybe been missing? No, I mean, I like the I like the speed that he brought to the game and the fact that he was hanging on to the puck when he's on top of his game. He's really difficult to get the puck from. He's strong on the puck and. Uh, he puts himself in areas. There was a couple times behind the net where he just using his speed, cutting back a couple different ways and, and creating offense. So, um, you know, his feet moving, his size, his strength, his skill level, all of that puts him in a position to add offensively. The guys in the room were saying that there's a good confidence level heading into the postseason. Do you feel that being around these guys every day? I mean, we've, we've, had, a, we've had a good year. Um, I can tell you that when you get to the postseason and you've, you've finished playing the regular season for four days, it's in the rearview mirror. And it all depends on how you play in game one. Um, and then from there, that doesn't have anything to do with game two. So every game's its own identity. Every series will be its own identity. And you got to win games. you got to win four. And, uh, you know, our guys will be ready to play one. We've proven, I think, that we're a competitive group and a competitive uh, bunch that goes out and plays hard. And our guys will be ready to play. All right, that is head coach Peter Laviolette of the Nashville Predators as they get set for their regular season home finale tomorrow night. The playoffs just around the corner uh, for the blue and gold, and we certainly look forward to that. Make sure you keep it here on News Channel 5 Sports all throughout the playoffs for the best coverage. All right, time for another break. We come back. Steve Lehman will join us. We'll talk about Bryce Drew. We'll talk about the Predators. We'll talk about the Titans. Whatever else is on his sport in mind, we'll get to. Plus your phone calls next. Stay with us.